Hey, hey, it's Monday. Welcome to the Rough Cuts. My name is Ireland, and this is my review of Easy Riders The Raging Bulls, which is a documentary from 2003 produced by BBC and directed by Kenneth Balsu, who has directed a bunch of documentaries. I think he's most famous for this movie, but he's also done a series of documentaries on Saturday Night Live and a couple of other things. This film is based on a book by Peter Biskind or something like that, and that book is kind of different from the movie because it's very gossipy and it tells kind of the inside story of the new Hollywood cinema of the 70s when young directors and filmmakers kind of took over the business because the old Hollywood studio model was dying and the film sets these people in a more sympathetic light and tells the story from their point of view via interviews and stock footage and stuff like that. The movie is narrated by William H. Macy and I think the main interview object is Dennis Hopper, but the movie lacks a lot of like the major new Hollywood filmmakers. As I said, the book was kind of gossipy, whereas this film tries very hard to be objective and tell a very consistent story throughout. And because of that, I think this movie is most suitable for people who are not very familiar with new Hollywood cinema and want to see kind of what they're interested in, what they want to check out, and what they would rather stay away from. And if you want that, then this is the perfect movie for you to see. What I've heard that I'm not sure if is entirely true is that the documentary movie A Decade Under the Influence covers almost the exact same ground as this film, but does it slightly better. And uh, I am planning to check that out sometime, so I'll see you whenever I've done that, I guess. This DVD is the Region 1 DVD released by Shout Factory, and it's really good because there's a bonus disc of another documentary, basically consisting of deleted scenes from the real documentary. And while the real documentary follows New Hollywood from the beginning to the end, this bonus documentary follows individual filmmakers one by one and compiles a bunch of interviews about them or with them or whatever. As a movie, I think I'll give this film a rating of 5.5 out of 10, but as a source of information, I guess it's worth a 6.5, so I'll average those and give you a 6 out of 10 rating. 